Welcome back to here to the data sets fact guy Dale here got a lot to talk about here basically I've blown up okay so last Saturday when I reported I weighed 338.6 pounds and you know it wasn't so bad I was planning to go down there was a lot to work with there I already knew that you know there was going to be quite a bit to lose there since you know I blew just a little bit from what I've been eating but eh. this is where I was at on Thursday so four pound jump 4.8 pound jump I mean not so bad but I think I narrowed down what messes with me and I think it's corn and corn based products yeah you should have been seeing Saturday here but apparently I jumped off the scale so fast on Saturday cuz when I saw it on Saturday it showed 356 point something and I just jumped off and was mad and got on a couple more times to compare it to the other scale and kept coming up consistently 356 point something on the normal one 357 point something on the other one and I was just like, oh. So I just waited until the next day, waited as long as possible, as long as I could without eating, and to go to the bathroom a few times to see what happened. And, and well, this is what we got here. And it's just, oh. I mean, a little week over week, eight days separately, 12 pound jump. It's like I went down a few days and then I just hopped up and up. And yeah, this is pretty much like over a 10 pound jump in a day this was actually the 13.2 pound jump in a day I'm just I don't feel awful but but or rather you know mentally yeah I feel awful physically I feel mostly the same just bigger just have stuff in me some days I ate great some days I ate awful some days it was mixed in in between but it should not have hit this type of you know response here in the end I didn't get a picture of every meal. This is a little under half of them, but you see it's all over the place. Some of these are great, some of these aren't, some of these are not well balanced. But come on. So what you see here are the numbers from last week, or basically the correct numbers from last week. Out there you know the measuring tape mishap. So this is where I started from. And this is where I'm at now. You see here there's been quite a few increases and I know we didn't look at the last screen for that loan let me give you a better view so you can see just how bad this is there we go mostly red I was surprised it wasn't entirely red I was actually looking at the wrong numbers at the beginning of this video and the red was much much deeper because of that so I got a few pieces of green but it's, it's not all that important and as you see here the biggest gains are at my waist and my abdomen so yeah pretty much what I suspected all along Something causes inflammation, or rather my body to hold on to moisture and food and just I am going to blend the corn. Like you know what? I was at first I was like, you know what, maybe it really is just sugar, but I thought I really taught sugar a long time ago. Pulled out every day with sugar. There was a slight correlation, but there were days or at least days where you know the sugar was a little high and there weren't equivalent gains or even there were even losses on some of those days. And so I looked deeper at the type of sugar, and it was high fructose corn syrup. Uh, I had a birthday recently. Yay, I'm 34 now, y'all. 34. <laughs> and yeah, I had ice cream. I had fake cheese. Uh, I had a little pop, and y'all know that I pretty much removed actual pop from my life a while ago. Very rarely have it. And I didn't have all this stuff on the same day. I had these things on different days. There was this big birthday meal that was planned and you know I didn't have a huge appetite on my birthday so the stuff that was bought and planned for on my birthday got slowly eaten over the course of a few days. And so there were little spikes there on certain items and then once I finished it off it just, just dead awful. And I went back and checked the other days throughout the year where I had these very huge multiple more than four pound spikes in weight. And the high fructose corn, corn syrup was there. Like, I mean, I was stumped on two days, but then I realized I I bought brands of peanut butter in the past when I was eating it that used high fructose corn syrup. I, it's already sweet. You add sugar to it. I don't understand why you put high fructose corn syrup in peanut butter. This is basically me not paying enough attention to food that I bought at the store. Uh, I hate to sound like just like everyone else on YouTube demonizing at me I hated it myself but I thought it was mostly gone I thought whenever I was taking it I was taking a small amount or at least 
not a ridiculous amount of it but it snuck up on me and yeah I definitely am not going to win that diet bet but uh, I have a plan to strike back against this next few days I am mainly just going to be eating my frozen veggies in the steam bags for rough fishing and I'm going to fast for a bit but that's it God bless you all thank you all for watching have a great night bye bye